right, so we just got to the moon. Got to the moon, and we said, oh man, <laughs> we're a teleporter accident. That's right, Squall's face. I hate carrying this thing. There, let me get this in the position. Position. There we go. Now we're both being picked up. Position. All right. Oh, oh whew, there we go. Position. <laughs> What's your position? Oh, her name's Jane, and she puts her finger up my butt. Okay. Anyway, we're on the moon, <laughs> or at least we're adjacent to the moon. Um, God, click on the bed. No, wait, go through that room. That door. Yeah, that's what he was talking about. Okay. God, the, the moon music, it's just so upbeat and jovial. How, how could it not be? <laughs> Squall, of all people, could find a way to make being on the moon fucking lame. This is stupid. The food and everywhere. <laughs> Where's, like, trees and stuff? Uh, he did his big, sweeping, dramatic arm motion right there for this guy whose job is to just look after this woman in a coma. And then he gives the least <laughs> amount of fucks, like, you're her knight in shining armor. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I know. This guy, yeah. like, finally, someone just doesn't have time for Skull's bullshit. Because well, this is the fucking moon, this and, is the well, moon. there is more handsome men, or at least a more handsome man up here, so no There's one's... one man in this whole world more beautiful... <laughs> And Squall, and he is on this lunar colony. So no one's putting up with Squall's bullshit. There's just no reason to. I'm just kind of heading in a direction I don't really... Oh, go down. Oh. At least I think you go down. If not, I'll just cut it. I cut out a lot <laughs> of stuff when I was editing yesterday. <laughs> Good. Oh, Ugh, let's go to the moon. I can almost whip it from here. Oh, I've always wanted to whip the moon. <laughs> she just starts going into really deep thought, like biting on her lower lips. Yeah. She's like, yeah. <laughs> Quistus, what do you, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you like that moon? You like that? Yeah. So, monsters come from the moon. <laughs> yeah. Lunar Cry. Earlier, when we were playing as Laguna for that movie shoot, they saw... Oh, I guess that's not what we saw. I was going to say, they, we saw Lunatic Pandora just off in the distance <clears throat> doing something, mm -hmm. and I thought that was this event that they just described called Lunar Cry, where a shitload of monsters just pour down, but apparently that wasn't it. Whoa. Yeah. This is Dino Crisis looking shit. Basically. The hell is this? <laughs> Monsters. Monstars. <laughs> Didn't you learn that in school? Well, presumably, but this is a postmodern protagonist, and so we don't get much backstory on them. Which means we learn everything when they learn it. I like, okay, you, you can. I like that on this lunar colony, the like female engineers wear pencil skirts or something, and yeah. <laughs> so now you can go up those stairs. I keep looking at the uh, the character illustrations on the box for Final Fantasy XII: The Zodiac Age. Mm. And God damn, he drew them sexier than ever. I like What's how... his problem, man. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, gosh. gave I... gave Ash and um, gosh, why do I always forget her name? Bunny Lady gave Ash and Bunny Lady just hot lipstick. Fuck, what? I can't even think of her name right now. Damn and it. I know her name. It's like right there. I know because I was just thinking about it earlier today. Because of the line where Balthier's like, Fran! Yeah. Fran. Yeah. Balthier's like, I always knew Fran didn't like to be tied up. <laughs> yeah, I like how all the art for the Zodiac Age is like all the illustrative, mm -hmm. really cool looking shit that like invokes, just, makes your imagination yeah. like catch it's, on it's fire. The, it's the art that they usually get on the covers over in Japan. <laughs> and not just like angry looking yeah. man on the cover just being angry. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get this cutscene in my preparatory playthrough. I must not have talked to the right person. What? So that's the former sorceress, Adele. That? Yeah, she's huge. And she was in charge of the continent of Esther, which is why they were at war with Galbadia. When we were in Laguna's... Uh, Laguna's memories. Quiet down, Riggs. <laughs> Ruin it for everyone. Everyone at home hates you. No, no one hates you. <laughs> the people watching this video hate you, though. They're hating you in the comments right now. 
Ah, oh, but you're doing cute dog things. <laughs> Mita. <laughs> he actually said something. Yeah. Weird. Instead of just thinking it. <laughs> no. I love this part. I love this part because it reveals what an idiot Squall is. <laughs> it's like, this doesn't... You said you can't change the past, right? <clears throat> yeah, you can't change the past, but you can see things, and that might teach you, you know, new lessons that you can bring into the, into the present. That helps a lot, actually. <laughs> You're the one that changes, not the past. No, no, see? She... She told Squall how her power works, right? And he's like... She's like, you can't change the past. And he's basically like, what if you can, though? That, 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 I want to like, find out myself. I don't trust you, the person with the power to travel through time. I want to find out personally. Isn't that every dude, though? Like, I was going to say, he's basically mansplaining to Alone how Alone's own power works. Like, look, female doctor, I know you're a doctor, and I know you're telling me this thing, uh -huh. but what if I'm right? Yeah. With my zero knowledge in health care, like, zero, maybe I'm right. <laughs> And there's 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 so much that her power could actually help she him with. In the party, like right now. Uh, sure not, not in the party. She's just following along. Like there's so much her power could actually help with, even if it can't change the past. Like she said, <clears throat> it can give you a new view on the present, or at least let you know what happened, and you can mm -hmm. use that information to go forward. But that's not good enough for Squall. Yeah, it's that's gotta be like Squall. I can't change the past. What if you can change the past though? It's like yeah, learning information that you wouldn't have known is huge. I mean, that's... It's like the... That's basically Biff getting the uh, almanac. Uh-huh. It's like they're... They, we, always, we always have characters who can see into the future, but I'm always more interested in characters who can see into the past mm -hmm. and use that info. Especially if you're seeing someone else's past mm -hmm. that you weren't there for. I don't think anything could be more terrifying than having a red alert on the lunar colony. <laughs> At least if my building's fire alarm goes off, I know I can run far enough that eventually things won't be on fire. <laughs> yeah, but I guess there's probably comfort in knowing that if it's all goes up in flames, then... Am I supposed to follow them? I uh, think so, yeah. If it all goes up in flames, then, well, we all gave it our best shot. <laughs> At least I'm, there's, there's not going to be... a team effort, am I right, guys? <laughs> no one's going to be left to have to do the paperwork, so... <laughs> what is she doing? Man? She's just, just standing there. Talk to alone. Oh, I guess go go to Renoa then. My face. Just starts elbow checking all these yeah, people yeah. left and right. Again, just grab, going out of their way to grab somebody, <laughs> lift them above their head, and then uh, elbow drop them. Whoa. Yeah, alone. Uh, Renoa rather is. Um, I mean, she's obviously possessed, right? I love this. <laughs> I know, you get to just get Squall thrown around like an idiot. Oh, it's kicking his ass so bad. Give it another one. Oh! <laughs> oh, you got paid, though. Got paid. Woo! You're doing good, Squall. You got this. Just a couple more. He's just, like, <laughs> super bloody and swollen. Like a Squall, you can't help... Squall, you can't stop her. What if I can stop her, though? I know, but let me just try a few I have to more find it. times. I have to find out for myself. <laughs> Sir, if you don't change your diet, you're going to die from diabetes. Yeah, but what if I don't? <laughs> what if I keep eating everything and I live to be 90 like that what one guy? Keep, what if I keep eating anything I want and I just get better? What if that happens, Doc? Like maybe I'll be a medical miracle and everyone will write <laughs> stories about me. Like that one guy who only drinks wine and eats like bread deep fried or something. Yeah, bread, bread fried... Bread fried. That's really hard for me to say. <laughs> it's hard to say because it's like... Bread fried. Am I really yeah, 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 this? yeah. It's a lip smacky combination of words. Bread fried in, in back fat. <laughs> Makes me wonder why you would have a deactivatable seal on the, the stasis pod of the <laughs> tyrannical uh, sorceress who threatened to burn the world. 
I mean, if you managed to contain her, why not just shoot that thing into the deep darks of space? Yeah, and just say goodbye. Say goodbye. Car cars her. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, man. <laughs> Until she if just you, stops thinking. If you have the opportunity to cars your antagonist, do it. There is no worse way to go. And man, you'll be safe. Like, the only way for cars to possibly come back is for the universe to be reset, which apparently actually happens in the future JoJo part. This poor asshole just out. No. He's out. There's only one steel left. Whatever, PA. You want to play cards? I, 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 I guess. Yeah. Guess we can play cards real quick. I'm not supposed to leave. Oh yeah. Quistus, you got this? Nope. No. All right. I'm gonna go up to the terminal again. I'm not gonna help her up. <laughs> I'm not gonna help anyone up. Yeah. Hey, let me Maybe leave. you can leave now. No. Alone. Whoop. 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 Wait. wait run back up to the camera. Today's episode of CDV Plays is brought to you by Taco Bell, Live Mass. <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. Why did they... How are we gonna sell these strategy oh, there guides? Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Click on the console. Looks like a... Like a bug. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. If nothing else, I can understand wanting to... monitor seal on the sorceress because it's probably powered by something and you want to make sure that everything's holding if nothing else why wouldn't you just have an emergency get it the <clears throat> fuck out of here button like when stuff does start to go down just hit that and let the thrusters carry it yeah. away just carry it away maybe towards a big old star somewhere yeah or just <laughs> launch it toward the sun I, I know the sorceress is strong I don't think she's stronger than the sun she's not sun strong no not even that stupid enemy Goku fought in Dragon Ball GT, which is no longer canon because it was so stupid with Sunstrong. I don't know if I'm supposed to be. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm supposed to come here. Look, the moon. I'm an astronaut. That person outside is just like, oh, <laughs> I'm fucked. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Well, I'm coming back around again. You can still save me. No, I'm too late. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh. Yikes. That y y yeah, yikes. And it's just looking up at the moon, and the moon has an eye. Yeah, it'd be a little weirded out. Yeah. And then these evil fish are yeah. like, we're gonna fuck ya! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What I like about this is these are actual monsters we've been fighting. That is In cool. fact, these are all the monsters we've been fighting. I it's like not like that. they, yeah, they just make like generic monster shapes, and then go, okay, that does it. Oh, so that's just a fucking whole it's population like, of monsters. Yeah, it's like a big gravity swell of monsters about to fall into Esther. Oh, this is gross. It's basically that slime from Ghostbusters 2. You, is... know, you know what I appreciate about that slime? Uh, is that they at no point made it appetizing. No, I mean, they didn't. No, I was about to say they managed to make it exactly a disgusting shade of pink and just the consistency uh -huh. too it's not like the green shit the nickelodeon squirts all mm -hmm. over everyone's faces like i would eat that yeah where it basically just looks like dyed tapioca pudding or something mm -hmm. no that that mark slime. summers is like actually it is no, I, it, no, yeah no. yeah i'm coming back you guys <laughs> i can't believe it they're trying just open the hatch <laughs> please please god please okay maybe force the four times the charm <laughs> Have you seen a zombie chick that can just knock you on your ass? Hmm? Oh, they said, he's like, have you seen a girl come this way? Oh, yeah. Have you seen a, have you seen a girl with after images who just knocks you on your ass come by here? She said there... Not the, oh, no, it, it's stupid. There's a door to the side of you. Go Is it this up. One? It's it's by that guy. Oh, oh, now everyone's fucked up. <laughs> in yeah, the yeah, moment yeah. that I was gone, yeah. Yeah. Renoa just fucking stumbled her way in there and beat everybody up. Yeah, she... yeah we can't have a Del Revive. No <laughs> way. I like that that guy is knocked out on the floor and he's so nonchalant about it. Yeah, we can't have a revive. I'm not really in pain. I just, you know. I think if you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Let's get this Dino suit. Crisis 2 suit. Did you notice that its legs were just sprawled yeah. around like a dumb scarecrow? <laughs> I just uh, want to see if it, uh, if it, uh, what do you, if Squall's like profile now is like 
Oh, wait, in a suit? Yeah. yeah. Um, go, oh, click on the door to that hatch on the left. No, no, down. Over there. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a door. Yeah. When you come in the room for just a second, you can see somebody in there, and then they step outside. Now make your way toward that uh, hatch up top. Oh, it's wait. awkward. Oh, this is me. Yeah. <laughs> now it's... I'm the person floating in space. Yeah. Hey guys, how are we gonna do this 3D movement? I don't know, just have them press up or something. <laughs> what if we what if we just rendered this background differently so the perspective makes more sense? Nah. Oh, nope. No, now you gotta turn around. G jeez. Yeah. Come on, Squall, float harder. Let's squall, float hard too. A good day to float hard. <laughs> Sorceress Ultimicia. Metal Gear. It'd be cool if the Sorceress had to fight a Metal Gear. I wonder who would win, actually. Yeah, I kind of just want all the Metal Gears and Metal Gear Solid to be translated into Final Fantasy bosses. <laughs> Sir, you're the president. You have to get off this thing. <laughs> yep, that, there's no way this isn't Laguna at this point, right? <laughs> no one else is this stupid. <laughs> His aides have to physically drag him off. Of this fucking space station, which is about to blow up. Alright, where... Uh, go to the front office again. Play Yu-Gi-Oh! with that guy on the floor. Go to the front office, check in, get a badge, talk to Stacy yeah. in accounting. Oh gosh, oh gosh. The moon speaking? No, it's Ultimisia's theme. Yeah, for some reason, uh, Sorceress Adele was a giant. <laughs> She's like 20 feet tall. Renoa's 5'5. Five five. Even in the suit, she's probably no more than 5'8. <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasy seems to like the idea of, like, a sealed... A sealed evil. Yeah. Which then breaks every time. Every time! I don't know, let's seal this evil on the moon, and then hope the moon's far enough away. Oh, turns out we can get to the moon. Fuck. I was also thinking about the theme of a character who's cooler than your main character, but you don't get to really play as them. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, there's Zack, mm -hmm. there's Laguna, you get to play as Laguna, Laguna though, for a little bit, but yeah. way cooler than Squall. Yeah. And then there's Blank. Blank seems like oh, he's yeah, Blank. way yeah. cooler than Zidane. Uh -huh. Like, he just looks super cool. And he gets all petrified in the uh -huh. beginning. I don't know if you, they do oh, that. Ty, uh, there's Titus's dad. You'll see oh, him. Yeah. Going this way, because that's where they went. Titus's dad. I'm trying to think if there's anyone in... Oh, in 6, you had, um... Uh, General Leo, who's there for just a little bit. But then you have pretty cool characters in six. Um, no. In five, you had all the, uh, the the Dawn Warriors. Is this not for me? No, it's supposed to be for you. Look at the thing in the back. And down. And downward. This is embarrassing. Down sesame. <laughs> what the fuck did... What? So just one spot? Let me see. <laughs> Oh my god. Maybe that's not where to go? If nothing else, by le- oh. Thirteen is just all- <laughs> It's just- You were just wishing for a better character? No, I'll give this back to you now. <laughs> yeah, thirteen was- uh, I can't think of anything in- Anyone in thirteen that I'm like, I'd rather be playing as that- That person. Because everyone was lame. In fifteen, you um- 
Noctis's dad is pretty cool. He seems pretty cool. And then he dies. Yeah. Oh. Bruh. Oh, that the, just. Oh, wow. The moon just vomit monsters onto us? Oh, Jesus. Not certain what's happening right now, but it looks bad. Yeah. It looks pretty bad. It's. See, if something like this was happening in Seven, you'd be like, "Oh, it's the live stream, yeah. even it's deal." But or it's Sephiroth up to no good. And I'm, I'm just like, what is the magic or what's going on that's making this happen? Like, fill us in a bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I'm gonna save. Yeah, you might want to save here. At some point, we both realized that we just should not talk during a save, and mm -hmm. it's made my editing a lot easier. Yeah. Because I don't like to keep menu stuff in if I can help it, mm. unless it's relevant to what's going on. Yeah, I can do it. <laughs> God! Renault's gonna die! I can't take it! Hello, please! Never felt this way in my life! I'm telling you, you can't change the past! <laughs> Okay, I'll take you there. Might not work, because I only met her for five seconds, and she was a vegetable. So are they getting an escape pod? They're or? getting an, an escape pod, yeah. <laughs> yeah, his suit's just totally... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that he's the only one in a suit. Yeah, why is he wearing one? Like, why isn't anyone else? Well, he was going to go out uh, into space. And he just and liked he just the way he looked. Yeah, he went to Men's Warehouse, found the spacesuit, and he agreed that he likes the way he looks. Does this make you want to hire me or marry your daughter for money? A little bit of both. 